So I'm the teacher for a primary four five here at Our Lady of Peace and the class that I have this year has a mix of different languages spoken and lots of different abilities. So as a teacher this year my job was to think how can I help children access the curriculum and engage in the curriculum and I've tried to use kind of a STEM focus particularly using digital technologies. So earlier on this year, a colleague of mine delivered an input to staff about iPad accessibility features. Um, I thought it was a really worthwhile thing to do. So it's something that I used in my own class, trialing it out with children who, again, perhaps English isn't their first language or they're just kind of struggling with their reading ability, using the iPad to dictate for them the words that are on a bit of paper, getting them to take a wee picture and having the words read back to them. I found that the children that used this loved it and it really helped them answer more challenging questions, questions that they could maybe answer orally, but just because of their reading ability, they couldn't quite access the curriculum. I've also used Chromebooks this year to help children. Again, this has been for children that are maybe struggling with their work, but also children that are disengaging. So I had, when I started the, the school year this year, I found there were some certain children who writing was just not for them. They really didn't enjoy doing it and get quite nervous and anxious about pieces of writing. So in order to counter that and to kind of remedy it, I used Chromebooks to help with writing, either to have children write, who were reluctant writers, they could write on the Chromebooks, or, and probably more interestingly for the class, it was using ChatGPT and AI website to help with children who were struggling to come up with story starters, who were maybe struggling to come up with a different word for a piece of writing, they were able to use that as kind of a dictionary and a thesaurus all in one, tailored to them, that was instant. Um, and since I've been using that, I've found that, found that children not only were producing better work, but they were also engaging more within my writing lessons. I've also used different digital technologies that we've gained from going on CERT courses, myself and a colleague in our school. I used the Indy cars this year um, to teach different maths topics, um, to try and teach maths in a perhaps more engaging way for children that weren't quite engaging with it. Um, the results being that children have loved using it and they've been desperate to have the Indy cars back. Um, also, just kind of generally, I've tried to use the language of STEM, and digital technology in my class a bit more. So instead of when they were completing a piece of writing, instead of talking about giving children a time to double check their work, because that immediately was alarm bells, it was more reading and writing, they didn't want to do that. I was using things, words like tinkering time that we use in STEM, um, using that in a different context. And if it was going back to the maths problems earlier on, talking about deconstructing maths problems, again, by using the language of STEM in more kind of general teaching and learning lessons, I found that children have really enjoyed the kind of, the marrying up of the two, and it's helped STEM to be seen as something that's not just done once a week or twice a week in a STEM lesson. It's something that can be embedded across the curriculum um, and it's something that I'm hoping to use a lot more moving forward in my own practice.